Uh, on behalf of Mr. Antoine Cash, our principal, assistant principal, our dean of instruction, interim superintendent, Jennifer Wilson, and everyone that makes up the Holmes County Consolidated School District, we bring you greetings. And on behalf of the Court of Public Government, thank you for being here on this evening. We want to move forward now with our invocation of Lenny Pfeiffer, followed by Welcome by Tamara Haynes.
reminder, we ask that you please hold all applause to the close of the Mozart set. Lock for Mozart, thank you.
tell you what, I am so, so grateful uh, to have made it to this point. It has been a trying year. It has been a tedious year. But by the grace of Almighty God, some, some wonderful things have been accomplished this year. And although we have achieved a lot, Holmes County, with your prayers and with your support, we do not plan on stopping. So, uh, as many of you know, uh, there's some mountainous feats that were accomplished this year. I want to just review that as we make ready to close on tonight, just to share with anyone, just in case they did not know, that the choir that stands before you, in these five years, God has truly blessed us and have opened many doors and given opportunities beyond our wildest dreams. Uh, let me show you just one example as I get into that. Raise your hand if you have never flown before. Oh. All right. <laughs> Until we right? Okay. All right. Some, some, some of our students are more fortunate than others, but that's just one small example of the opportunities that have been provided for these young people because of Holmes County getting behind them, because of friends and loved ones and private donors and the community loving on these children enough to say, in spite of what others may think, in spite of what uh, the news says, in spite of what students and students might say, With God, I believe it, and I, and I quote it, and I live by it. With God, nothing shall be impossible. And, and I have to say this, you know, uh, as I shared with, with, with colleagues, as I shared with this community, I am unapologetic about my faith, all right? Because I know it wasn't us who brought us, that's brought us this far. And so with that being said, I have to acknowledge the one from whom all blessings flow. Because he is the reason why we're able to do what we do. And so we, we, we praise God and we thank God for every opportunity. This year has been a blessing, it's been a miracle in itself. But just going back and looking back over the five years, each year has gotten better. Uh, each, each year has come with its challenges, but doors have continued to be open. And this year alone, after receiving superior ratings uh, and being invited two years ago to Carnegie Hall because of those superior ratings, we can finally say that we made it. Yeah. Not only did we show up in, in, in New York in Carnegie Hall, but we represented Holmes County we represented the state of Mississippi. And we were the only predominantly black choir to do so. So I want to say again to these young people and to this community, with God, all things are possible. Yes, sir. You know, I tell these young people all the time, whatever you do, do it with passion. Don't, don't do it just because I want you to do it. Do it because it's in your heart to do it. And the things that we have accomplished this year, you know, even going and competing for the first time uh, on the national level in New Orleans, and then not just going, but then placing second place in two categories, third place in the other category, overall out of over 20 groups that were there, us placing second place twice and then third place is another miracle in itself. Going back to New York to have the composer in residence to choose two of our children from Holmes County from the Mass Choir with over 50 children in it. All right? But then to choose two of our children to represent with the only solos that was in that mass choir, as well as to have our alto section leader, Lemmy Pfeiffer, conduct, as you saw tonight. <laughs> and then go to New Orleans the same, once again. Tamara, where you have it? Tamara Hayne. <laughs> And then to go to New Orleans the 
same and to have the only black male. Big T. And again, he was the only black male that received that award. So once again, let's celebrate him. We are proud to announce while we, have, we don't know exactly all of the things that we're going to do next year, we are happy to announce that we have not received not one national invitation, not two national invitations, not three national invitations, but four national invitations. So, I think we can honestly say, as I always say, that the best is yet to come. That's the part where we ought to say amen. Once again, before I go any further, the first person I want to recognize, aside from God, is my beautiful wife and my family. Oh, Mrs. G, Anaya, Pierce, and Parker. Would you give my family a hand? So grateful for them because they support me uh, and, and the vision that I have. There are a lot of long nights that I'm away from home. And my wife just, baby, you know, do what you gotta do. She said, sometimes she sometimes she sees it in my face sometimes that I'm tired and she'll say, okay, all right, now you need to rest. You need to, you need to sit down, you need to rest. But she never tries to stand in my way because she knows that I'm called to do what I do. As we move forward, we want to recognize the class of 2023. Tougaloo College for Choir uh, and Art yeah. Women's College. Yeah. Yeah. Young, 
and these two that are near and dear to my heart, who are our assistant directors uh, that have served with us all this time, and we're so grateful for them. From William Sullivan Middle School, Miss Sydney Briggs. Now this is a bittersweet moment, uh, but unfortunately we will be losing Mr. Thagard and Ms. Briggs. Uh, they, are, they are moving on, they have uh, some other things on their plate that they're going to be transitioning. Um, uh, Mr. Daggett is finishing his doctorate. Ms. Rich just finished her second master's. We're transitioning into other positions and we bid them well. Can we give them a round of applause? How much you mean to me, so before I start getting emotional and stuff, I'm going to move on. But I love you guys, and thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and for these children. One more time, would you give them a hand? Can we please recognize at this time all of our parents of these wonderful young people on the stage? Would you please stand and give them a hand? Mr. David Williamson. We do it. Continue to support us. 
We need your help as we continue to move forward. And also, I would that you would encourage all of our leaders from the district, from the community. We want you as the, as the people of Holmes County to let them know, just for the ones who may not know or may not be here, let them know, hey, we want to see your face. Come out and support these young people. We want to see your face. We want to see you get behind them. That would really help us as well. So I'm going to ask the community to do that as well, to help us move forward as we make ready to step into this new chapter of 2023 and 2024. God bless you on tonight. Thank each and every one of you for being here. And if that is all, we're going to say good night and God bless you. Take care. committing countless hours, the Holmes County Central Singers have grown tremendously over the years for this moment on the big stage. I just didn't really know how to feel, honestly, because I never thought that, you know, with us being such a small county, I never thought that we would be recognized that much. I just feel very excited because we work really hard to get to this spot. Each singer that finishes the program receives scholarships to the college or university of their choice. The children of Holmes County are just as talented as any other students that I've worked with in the city, and they need this exposure, so this is really more so about them. If you'd like to donate to Holmes County School District's first choir performance at Carnegie Hall in April, head to our website, wjtv.com, and search for this story. Well, Galleon emphasizes he does it for the students, the Holmes County Central Singers, who get the chance to show up their talents at the Mississippi State Capitol this Thursday, February 2nd. And if you know of a school doing something cool, well, just let us know with the email address listed below. <laughs>